everyone. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Kids News Network. Today, we are back with Dylan for Coins Part 3. We've learned about pennies. We've learned about quarters. Now, we're going to learn a few more factoids. And you ke can keep the change. Also, <laughs> please remember to record some educational videos to make this channel even better. All you have to do, choose something to learn about, learn about, and shoot the video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Enjoy. Dylan, before we start, how is your uncle Eugene and Dre? Please send them my regards. Okay. <laughs> My sources have told me that you finally got some of your collection back from your grandmother. Why was she holding the coins hosted, H? Um, I don't really know. She just kept them there because usually because she had tons of coins there, so she just decided maybe it'd be quicker to keep them there. But yeah. I have them now. But seriously, what are these blue books you have? Um. Mm, 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 mm. What did I do? Then? Um. They. Well, they have the different mints of a, a coin, and you basically, if you find that coin, you just put it in the spot like this. Wow. So what are they doing? Um, these are wheat pennies from mm -hmm. 1930 to 1958. That's really cool. They're all in... But really bad condition um except the steel ones from 1943 look at the, they are very shiny not because they're um steel coated with the zinc mm -hmm. it's um i bought them at a coin store for like a few, like you can buy um ones in very good condition um for only a few cents like yeah. these are all like mint state. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. What coins did you get for Christmas? Um, this isn't Christmas, but this is what I got for my birthday from my uncle Dre. Cool. There are some. There are some um, wheat pennies from World War One. An Indian head penny from 1909. It was a long time. Um, there's a buffalo nickel from 1929. A bunch of 23s and 42 um, mercury dimes. A count um, a 1936 mercury dime. I that I actually found my uncle Eugene gave it to me, but it's counterfeit. Um, a <laughs> old English large cent. And then Dylan, what does counterfeit mean? Um, counterfeit means like not real, mm. like fake. Dylan, what is a booby coin quarter? Um, they're basically um regular silver quarters. You've probably never seen one, but only 1916 and 1917 have what the name is. It's actually they only call it that because in 1916 and 17, um, the mint engraver, um, well, you know what I mean, and yeah. basically, um, the People were very mad, so they changed the design. A lot of boot, a lot of them are dateless, like this. I have but, two. But why one, are they called boobies? Um, because basically the mint engraver um put an exposed breast on it, which is very risky to do, and of course the public did not like that at all, so they changed it. Um cool. and. All my movie quarters except two are dateless. Like most of them are dateless, although I got two um of them for Christmas. 
Um, one of them was from 1930, and mm -hmm. one was from 1927. Cool. What are the wartime nickels made of different materials? Um, during World War II, the U.S. Mint had to um, ration stuff like copper and nickel. They didn't completely ration copper because nickels were major um nickels were a lot of copper even then. And um the pennies were with that didn't have copper um were only 1943. So like I have a 1941, a 42, a 44, and a 45, and only the 43s are steel. That's really cool. Tell us about the silver quarter you found recently. Have you found any others? Um, I found a 1963 silver quarter in a roll of quarters recently. Um, and I've and I have a whole uh, I have two whole books full of silver quarters. Um, my rarest. One is in this book. My oldest is 1934. Oh, he's always on. My oldest is 1934. Um, my youngest is 1964 because that's the last year. And my rarest is the 1940D. They only made 2.8 million. Cool. Tell the audience about uncut pills. First, let me say something. In Dylan, in our class, a couple people have uncut pills. <laughs> mm -hmm. So tell the audience about uncut pills. Um, uncut pills are basically an error when the mint forgets to cut the bills. I have some of them myself. My uncle Larry gave them to me. I don't know where they are. Um, I think they're lying around somewhere in my house. Um, and yes, a lot of like two or three other people in our class have uncut bills. That's really cool. I heard here you are becoming a regular at some coin shops. Do you want to give them a plug? A shout. It means a shout out. Oh, like, um, I, I've only went to two coin stores, and that's Ten of Fly Coins and Jewelry um, and Clarkstown Coin and Jewelry. That's really cool. Your dad tells me you got a metal detector for your birthday. First, tell us how old you really are. 14? Just kidding. Did you take it anywhere and find some coins? Um, we took it to Coney Island, and we found the 1927 wheat penny. And while we were um, on detecting, I saw a plastic token. Oh, that's cool. Dylan, if you could be a head or a tail on a coin, which would you be? Um... That's a, I think heads because that's usually um, a better design. And well, some coins would be tails, and also because tails is bad luck. Yeah, I like heads too. Whenever um, our family does a coin toss, I always pick heads if there's an option to pick it. Are there any coin, Dylan? Are they? That's really cool, Dylan. Are there any coins you? you're into right now which is your collection headed um well right now i'm trying to get a hold of some slabbed coins and bullion coins like um this mercury dime a 1941 um philadelphia mint mint state 64 reverse and obverse mercury dime created by wmp rare coins cool 
Dylan, as always, I love having you as a guest. Next time, perhaps you can tell us about the Pinwood Derby and new adventures in coin collecting. Also, kids, please remember to record some educational videos to make this channel even better. All you have to do is choose something to learn about, learn about, and shoot the video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Enjoy. Bye, and stay tuned. Bye.